Mike Burke here with Sunstoppers to give you an explanation of different samples and shades of window tint. So we're gonna give you three different examples in a well-lit bay, outside during the day, and at night, interior and exterior views. Now this is an interior view in a well-lit shop with a white background. We also purposely left this strip down here at the bottom to give you what the naked glass looks like to transition from clear to dark. We're gonna start with our 70%. It's our far left film. We're gonna transition into our 55%, our 43%, our 35%, our 20%, our 15%, and our 5%. So I got a Sunstoppers mug. I just want you to see the black background with the silver writing, the transition fading from light to dark. So we're in the shop back here looking at the exterior of the samples of film that are on the glass going from the dark to the light. Now you can see in the shop the exterior view. It's a little tough to see uh, with the glare, the camera angle, uh, the way we zoom in and uh, give you kind of a full appearance package of what this looks like. We're here with a different angle from the outside in the shop. If you notice this film right here, this is a 35% legal film in North Carolina. This film transitions next to the 5%, 15, the 20, the 35, 43, 55, then the 70. The sun is really bright in my eyes, and this will kind of give you an idea of what the film looks like during the day. We've got our lighter to darker contrast. This will kind of give you a daytime perspective from the inside of the glass and we're gonna pan around and see the different shades. Now we're gonna flip the car around and get it from the inside looking out. During the day, you can see the transition from the 70% all the way down to the 5%. Big difference between the 15 and the 20. The light down here at the bottom really gives you kind of an idea of how much darker the glass is with the film on here. We're gonna pan basically from the lighter to the darker. This is a really cool demonstration of the contrast between the darker and the lighter films. So as you can see at night, it transitions and it gets pretty dark right here. As you can see, it's pretty dark right here. It's almost impossible to get the true transition at night from the darker to the lighter. We're gonna pan in. We're gonna come in and kind of give you a close up here at night to see the difference in contrast. All right, so we're driving around here at the QT with my man over here videoing. The light really gives you an idea here at the gas station, what we're looking at from the darker to the lighter. It really, my eyes kind of always go right in here. That's a little too dark to me. That's a little too light. These are probably the best films in my opinion. We're gonna ride over here where it's not lit up and you see how it tar starts to look a little bit different. We're gonna pass by the shop right here and see how bright it is inside. That'll give you a really good idea of the transition in the films. People all the time come into the shop and they're always asking us, hey man, what's my car gonna look like? Is it gonna look dark and be legal? That's really a hard question. This explanation is for contrast purposes only. We appreciate you tuning into our video. Hopefully this explanation and demonstration uh, helps you out.